YouTube, it's Menashe, I'm back, uh, I'm back by popular demand apparently, uh, Tony Hot 2, I think Tony Hot 2, uh, requested this to see, um, particularly Paint Tool Sai, working with the uh, Art Doc, so, uh, let me get Art Doc going. I, I don't know Paint Tool Sai. I've messed around with it because a friend of mine um, gave me a portable copy that he had. Same thing with Sketchbook Pro. I, I used to use it on my on my Android phone just for like quick sketches and things like that. Oops. <laughs> I opened up the uh, Just for like quick sketch sketches and things like that. But um, could never really mm, get the feel of it. I didn't really like it too much that enough that I would draw with it as much as I do with Photoshop. But you requested it, so I will show you um, that it is cool. Looks like anything else. Got the pressure sensitivity going. Um, yeah, and then uh, so I guess you know you can hit tab and you can make it full screen. Uh, at first, you're not going to be able to actually see my fingers doing this because I'm using Camtasia. But this is my first time using Camtasia, so moving up in the world, in the world of technology. Uh, and I didn't have to do a stupid, crazy camera rig like I did for the last few uh, videos I did. Anyway, what I did figure out though, which I guess you'll we'll figure out also, is that some of these buttons here, like the tab, you'll probably see me press it, and the undo and uh, they have those little arrows on the sides and I was always having, I used to have a really hard time activating the save and the load, redo, undo on the side because I would always just flick across the button but I realized that you have to actually tap the corner and then flick and then it will save or it will activate that little corner thing and it actually works every time whereas before it would only work intermittently but that's because I was doing it wrong so of course you have these things on the fly I can minimize and maximize I can change my brush size can you see that well, sometimes it freezes up so we're witnessing that right now we're going to see how long it freezes up for so here it's back so I just changed my brush size and did it again and pick my eraser change my old go back to my brush and I can change the opacity. I must be on white must be on white so this is color so here you got the color picker and my opacity is at 100 percent that's 30 percent all of these things I'm doing on the fly color picker and free transform Enter it. All of these thumb, all of these things, right here at my thumb tip. So while you're holding your EP, I have it sitting flat on the table, but my hand is on my left hand is on the side, and I'm able to do all those things on the fly. Same thing that you do. Same option here is mirroring. Same options that you would have with Photoshop. Same thing with um, uh, with Photoshop. Same thing with ZBrush. I've been using ZBrush all this week. I had a project. I had to turn in and I used this machine exclusively for it actually for doing everything from sculpting to um, I had to rig it I had to rig it with uh, Z, Z what are those things called? I forget Z balls or something like that <laughs> um, but you didn't ask about Z brush you asked about paint tool side so that's it and this the interface for the art doc works the same with any software that's listed on here at least that you're using. I even used it with Maya the other day because the ZBrush model that I was um, sculpting had some issues and I, I did the base mesh in ZBrush. I mean, I did the base mesh in Maya and I was having some issues that I had to redo that was easier to redo in Maya and I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. I have, I have yet to use Maya practically with the EP because I thought it would be harder having to use a mouse and whatnot, but I got myself a mouse 
and I put this thing up on the stand and it was awesome. It's hard to use with the pen, I will admit. At least it was hard for me to use Maya with the pen and, and the keyboard and move it and, and sorry and the art dock and move it around. But with a mouse and art dock, it becomes just like using it on the computer. So it doesn't matter what you're using, whether you're using Sketchbook Pro, Photoshop, Paint to Sci, Art Ray, ZBrush, Maya. Uh, 3ds. Well, let me not say 3ds Max because I haven't used 3ds Max, but uh, all the ones I just named, except uh, Sketchbook Pro, I have used with the Art Doc, and today I'm using Paint to the side of the Art Doc. It all works the same. No different. Really, no difference at all. Um, as far as the um, responsiveness and and the just the utilitarian aspect of, of, of it, the ease of use, having it right there at your fingertips, it really makes, it really makes the EP into a way, and a, to a true Wacom, that was the one downside, I think, before, before I ran into Art Doc, was that while using it, while drawing and painting, the one upside of having a Wacom was that you had those sort of shortcut buttons on the side that you didn't have on a, with a Windows machine. But with the art dock, it gives you that. It gives you that, and you can dock this to any side. Sorry about that. Get rid of it. Uh oh. Sorry about that. Um, and you can dock it to any side of the screen that you want. So if you're, if you draw with your right hand or your left hand, sorry, then you can access the can access all your buttons with your your right hand so this thing is a really powerful tool simple but powerful it really makes the EP into a, into a beautiful experience I've been using this I've had this was my last week of art college I'm actually officially done with art college now I just have to do a uh, print uh, portfolio I have to do a portfolio presentation uh, on Wednesday, which is in a couple of days, three days from now, and I, for the past, I would say, ever since I've had this machine, I've been doing all my work, because I'm doing, I'm a 2D, 3D concept artist, which I'm specializing in, I've done ZBrush, Maya, and Photoshop extensively, and just about exclusively using my EP day and night going without sleep three four days at a time and this thing has been on constantly and I've been using it um, the, 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 the worst problem I've had with it is that it would freeze up on me um, like I like I've told you before but like I said uh, not not annoyingly so even though I was on a deadline and having to work really quickly and having to multitask greatly and having to switch between different programs when I would get tired of doing one I would have to switch to another and it, I would get some freezing, especially with ZBrush. Not with the art doc, but just the machine itself. Wouldn't freeze so much with Photoshop, but it would still freeze. That's like an issue, it would freeze up. But like I said, not so much that it would get annoying. Even with me flustered, stressed out, and on a deadline, it, it worked great. It worked wonderfully for all the different things I had to do. With ZBrush, I had to do everything from sculpting to rigging to some transposing with it and then of course I had to go into Maya and uh, you know, add edge loops and move vertices and all that good stuff and it doesn't glitch up, doesn't slow down, no lag, you know, very little lag. Even in ZBrush I had to light, I had to do some lighting with the character and do a turntable and all that stuff. And well, which I'm saying it to you that way because that was the first time I've ever had to uh, do any of that because I'm not I'm not really proficient in it. And I'm learning all these things right now, so that's that, and it worked great. And now and then now you see that it works great with uh, even with Ink Tool side. So I hope this helps. Hope it answers all your questions. I say run out get one go on craigslist go on ebay if you can't afford the thousand dollars plus price 
go out and get one of these things, man. Everyone who see me with it during my finals, they were like, what? What is that? I want one. Because it's awesome.